TV stations use four-letter call signs. If no letter can be repeated in the four-letter call sign, how many different call signs are possible? Okay, so an example of a TV station four-letter call sign would be something like WLRN, right? WLRN. So there are four letters that are chosen to represent the TV station. It says no letter can be repeated in the four-letter call sign. How many different call signs are possible? So keywords here is how many, right? Again, how many different call signs are possible? This is indicating a counting question. We're trying to figure out how many different um, available options there are. Anytime we have that, we want to consider, first of all, two main categories of problems. Either there's something that can be done with the fundamental counting rule or something that can be done with combinations. So let's eliminate combinations as an option here. If I have a TV station's for their call sign, let's say I chose WLRN as my call sign, or even let's say ABCD, that's a simple call sign for a TV station, ABCD. Um, would it be the same station if I called it DBAC? I don't think so, right? We know our TV stations by their call sign. The WLRN is WLRN. You can't switch around those letters and say it's the same TV station. That doesn't work. But in a combination, you can change the order and it's still the same thing, right? Because in combinations, order does not matter. So we can tell that these TV letter, TV four-letter call signs are not found by using combinations because if that were the case, then order would not matter. But order clearly does matter here. So if it's not that, we're going to try fundamental counting rule. Remember, for fundamental counting rule, you have to list a space for every decision that must be made. There are going to be four letters in your call sign, so you'll have to choose four letters to create your TV station name. All right, now, and if you opt or decide to do that, then, then all that's left to do is to figure out how many options you have for each decision, right? Well, when you first come along and you try to form your name of your TV station or the call sign for your TV station, you will have 26 letters to choose from for the first letter because there are 26 letters in the alphabet. But after that, once you've chosen a letter, let's say you choose the letter D, right? If you choose the letter D, then you no longer have 26 choices for the next one because it says no letter can be repeated. So that means you will only have 25 choices for the next letter. And then the next letter after that, you will only have 24 choices because you would have used two choices here, leaving only 24 remaining letters in the alphabet. And then finally, for the last letter, you will only have 23 choices. And then at that moment, you stop. Okay, so let's do the calculation here to see what the answer is then. It'll be 26 times 25 times 24 times 23. And when you're finished, you get this rather large, large number of options. It's 358,800 different unique TV station four-letter call signs.